loving this baby since i lost this weight i have been shopping okay I my name is latoya jones and i recently lost 100 pounds 36 pounds on a 14 day fast 60 pounds total with fasting over 100 pounds total overall 40 pounds with just walking 40 to 50 pounds with just walking so i am hopefully inspiring you to want to lose some weight and get your health right because man i'm telling you life is so much easier when you like what you see in the mirror and there was going to be times when we gained the weight back been there done that but i'm hoping that my videos will help you at least stay on track and maintain i just did a video and uploaded it recently about the most addictive workout where you lose weight and you get about the same results as fasting basically i did it for three days and lost five pounds if i did a three-day fast with no food i would lose nine pounds so who, what what you know losing five pounds in three days and you can still eat and you can still work out that is an amazing diet or not diet but workout so go check that out on my last video i just posted if you want to know about how i lost 36 pounds in 14 days check out that video too my 14 day fast experience but in this video i want to talk about the hanging belly you and me both we know how hard it is to lose weight and to keep weight off it is annoying but you know what i am learning because i was eight years old weighing over 100 pounds and my belly was bulging and i didn't know what was going on i just know that i tried on my favorite outfit and it didn't look like me no, I didn't look I didn't look like the girl that I saw wearing it. It's the only reason I wanted it because I saw somebody else wearing it and when I put it on, it didn't look like me. My stomach was bulging badly and I didn't know what was going on. But when I look back, I was eating little Debbie Star Crunches, nutty butters, nutty bars. I was downloading sugar like mad crazy. I was eating smothered steak at seven and eight years old. I had a family that didn't really, they didn't know too much about weight. They just know diet pills. And so I was eating everything at, as a newborn, probably being fed potato salad and fried chicken because we didn't have like the money to go to the store and buy the, the baby food all of the time. So I was growing up eating whatever, how much ever I wanted. And it resulted in me at seven and eight years old growing a belly that I didn't know later would turn out to be a hanging belly. And although I was loved as a child, I was allowed to eat whatever I wanted and it was not fun. So I grew up always wearing, what do you call them? Um, girdles and i was like in the seventh grade wearing a girdle because i felt like it held me together and all the way up all the way up until the 11th grade i'm wearing a girdle or a, a whatever you call it now it's a body magic I, I i i faithfully have a body magic because i still have that hanging belly even though i've lost all of this weight and fasted all of that time i still have a belly that hangs and it is annoying uh this is what i look like you still see the belly is there as i was losing weight i thought that i would lose that belly and the fasting helped tremendously i would walk i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you how to lose it but i walked i drank a lot of water which later i found out you don't need all that water i was overdoing it with the water and the water probably made the hanging belly worse <sighs> walked fasted that's all i did and i lost most of the stomach now i don't drink as much water and a lot plays into part why you have why you may have a hanging belly number one is a fact is cortisol cortisol buildup comes from stress fear and anxiety the fight and flight response when you're living in a household where you deal with a lot of stress a lot of abuse a lot of mental and physical abuse Whereas a child, you were just always in this fear mode 
and then you were also eating on top of that and you weren't working out so the fat goes straight to the stomach area now some people i'm just going to be honest if you have a flat behind and a big stomach i i there's no scientific research on it but i'm almost sure that that belly was supposed to be your butt because most people don't have a big butt and a hanging belly at the same time. If you do, it's few and, far, few and far between. But if you have a flat butt and a big belly, that something happened and you just, it, it came to the front. It, it, it turned into a booty do, and that's just what it is. But, unfortunate, you know. Um, but a lot of stress, anxiety, parent abuse, bullied in school, overeating on top of that and high levels of cortisol which happens because you stress yourself out this is why let's get into how to get rid of it this is why walking which is a low impact exercise is going to target the belly fat i once heard from someone who is highly trained in weight loss that walking gets rid of dead fat this is why the diet the workout i was talking about in my last video is so effective because you're walking at a high incline and you would think that would be stress on the body but it's not it's not running it's not uh, overdoing it on the knees it is simple walking at a high incline and the body just reacts to a workout like that in the most powerful way and then you drop all of this weight and I would love for a scientific research to be done because high incline walking is powerful when I tell y'all powerful and so when you walk i would say just walk i lost 40 to 50 of my first weight loss uh first weight just walking and i wasn't walking fast i wasn't fast paced walking i wasn't turbo walking i was just walking maybe three or four hours in a day sometimes i would walk eight hours in a day that's when i didn't have a, you know i didn't have to pay any bills and really just use that time. I mean, I had to pay a couple bills, but not like big bills. And I used that time to just walk. Sometimes I would get in five miles, eight miles. One time I got in 21 miles in one day and just walked and the weight fell off. And there was a time the weight stopped falling off because I was, I just started overeating again. And then I got into fasting where I was just like, you know what, I'm not going to eat anything to lose this stubborn weight. And I lost 36 pounds in 14 days. I was 226 pounds when I started my 14 day fast and lost 36 pounds. And after that, I started back walking and I was able to walk uh, while I fasted, but I didn't, I, I went ahead and kept fasting and lost an additional, uh, a total of 60 pounds. So I lost, the 36 pounds and another 20 something pounds just fasting and then once I lost that weight and that's fasting no food uh, watch my last video there are a couple people I've mentioned on who helped me with the fasting but I just st started walking again and that's how I was able to maintain my weight loss and not gain weight now I am doing high incline walking where I am stabilizing my weight and I'm losing weight at the same time. I do what is called a 12-3-30 by, uh, created by Lauren Geraldo where I walk 12 miles per hour, I'm sorry, 12 incline. I walk at a 12 incline, 3.0 miles per hour for 30 minutes and I do it at five to seven days a week. And I've been able to maintain and still lose weight. Now I'm so advanced with that that I have bumped it up to 15 incline, 3.5 miles per hour, and I do that for an hour. And when I tell you, you lose, I lose about the same weight as I would doing a fast if I do that five to seven days a week. Now with the 12, 330, you're still going to lose weight with a, if you just walk and you eat and it's like the weight falls off but i bumped it up because i just wanted to see how much more i could could go and i'm mean, gonna tell you it's like fasting and eating at the same time it is powerful when you if you just don't want to fast anymore and you just need a workout to to work similar to fasting either the 12 3 30 5 to 7 days a week 
or do the 12 3 30 for an hour seven five to seven days a week or if you want that intense <laughs> i mean the the weight falls off day to day try 15 3.5 60. now consult with your physician because that 15 3.5 60 is no joke i mean the sweating i have to take a break and i hold the handlebars i hold the handlebars until i can't hold the handlebars anymore because i'm not one of those people that's going to be like well, if i don't hold the handlebars it's not going to be pretty but either one 12 3 30 or 15 3.5 60 you are burning fat like never before and it's so much low impact on your knees. I have been doing it now for three weeks and I don't have any knee pain, there's nothing going on. When I first started the first, I say the first week and a half, I did have some ankle pain, but I said, you know what? I'm gonna keep going and I'm not gonna let this ankle pain stop me because what happens is when you first start a workout, your body is getting used to it and you're working muscles and ligaments that you've never worked before so you're going to have this pain but you if you can push through but if you can't don't but i'm the kind of person i'm like i'm not gonna let this pain stop me because i've heard stories of people who have had pains and broken legs and have still worked on those broken legs and did what they had to do and it's like it healed up on its own it's just the body using muscles and ligaments that's never used and if you keep on using it it's it's going to heal up on its own and or it's going to get worse and either way i'm going to find out if it's going to heal on its own and if it gets worse i'll go see somebody i'll let out because I've, I've heard so many stories of people pushing through and not letting things in pain and stop them that's why i was able to do a fast for 14 days because i heard people say you know don't you know push through and i'm like I'm gonna push through because I'm tired of living the life I'm living and I know there's more, so I'm not gonna, I've always let pain stop me and frustration stop me. What happens if I just keep going? Your body adapts, your body is powerful, but if you're one of those who know I'm gonna go to the doctor because I feel like I'm gonna die, go to the doctor, but there's been many times where I felt like I was gonna die or I was gonna, like my maybe I broke my feet or my ankle and turns out about four days, five days later, it went away. Yeah, sometimes you might need some new shoes. Sometimes it's just a new workout that you're not used to. You would never know if you keep letting pain stop you from pushing forward. But to each his own. So walking got rid of my hanging belly. Walking five to seven days a week at a slow pace, not a fast pace, not a turbo pace. Just simple walking, I lost 40 to 50 pounds. I was drinking a lot of water, which I feel like water helps, but I also feel like water gets in the way of your weight loss. I would say drink when you're thirsty. I am a big water per, I used to be a big water person. I used to be like, you have to drink a gallon a day. I no longer believe you have to drink a gallon a day. I believe you have to drink when you're thirsty, period. But to each his own. And high incline walking is powerful that is what helped me get rid of my stomach and fasting 20 hour fasting i have a video on that uh, i'm not a fan of 16 hour fasting because i feel like that doesn't really get me to my goals 20 hours is a powerful uh, start and if you can go a few days that is even more powerful check out dr stein eckberg he talks about fasting and how prolonged fasting is even more powerful than short-term fasting I just had to do it for 14 days because I was like, listen, my weight has been stuck and I, I don't know what else to do. I've worked out, I just can't, I can't stop eating. So let me just let me just go ahead and go cold turkey on food and broke that stall and I've been I've kept that weight off. That was two years ago. I've kept that weight off from the fast for over two years and now I still walk. And I now I eat, I haven't fasted. Uh, in I would say like in a month or two because of the new move and how busy I've been but I have been doing that workout the walking incline high incline workout powerful 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 so I'll leave you with this don't be lazy walk that's the that's the workout that got me to lose my weight incorporate at least 20 hours of fasting three days four days a week 
and only drink water when you feel thirsty, when you feel like you need it. Now I will tell you that high incline walkout workout is going to make you so thirsty. <laughs> I, I don't know, it's the oxygen I guess that you're inhaling and the throat dryness and you're gonna be so thirsty. But that hanging belly, you don't have to go high intensity workouts, you know, unless you want to. You don't have to run five miles every hour. Simple walk, high incline, and start with that. That's all I'm gonna say. You're eating, you do what you need to do on that, but I guarantee you when you start that high incline workout and you see how fast that weight comes off, you're not gonna wanna sabotage that with eating like you normally do.